Let's go ahead and welcome to the program head coach of the Washington Patriots, Terry Ray. Coach Ray, how's it going? Going great. How about you guys? Going well. Uh, big win for your team last week over Musselman, 28-21, close competitive football game. Uh, what would you take away from it? Uh, we still know how to win them ugly games. Uh, <laughs> uh, penalties got us again. Uh, we, we showed a little bit of uh, – non-discipline when it came to the defense side of the ball. We kept jumping, even though that that offense is a little interesting to work for. We thought we prepared for it, but our kids never gave up. They were resilient, and we, we won one that was tight. You guys have been in a lot of tight games this year, and you found yourself down heading into the uh, fourth quarter as well. Just talk about the resiliency and the surge of the effort late to pick up the victory in that fourth quarter? Uh, our running game was working really well. Uh, the last time, I, th I do believe, our last drive, we held the ball for almost five minutes and went with the go-ahead score and only left them with 50 seconds left on the clock to uh, try to tie it back up. Uh, I was very happy with our run game and our offense. thought our offensive line did really well. Uh, our defense didn't play great in the first half, but I thought in the second half we made our adjustments and we played very well. Coach, you mentioned that running game getting going for you, and uh, that's been a key to your team's success all season long. So what uh, what do you think has been kind of the, the difference and, and who really stood out to you in that game against Musselman? Uh, Alan Casey had a great game. Uh, Tavon only carried it a few times, but those two have been solid all year. Uh, A.J. Lopez being in the mix the last three weeks has just helped us tremendously as well. We have a three-headed monster back there, and I'm very happy with the way that those guys handle it. Coach, your team gets another EPAC win. Uh, just, it's been a great season for you guys as you now sit at 7-2. and two. Uh Pretty much, I believe, now the best uh, season in school history. How much does that mean to the program? Uh, it's not the best in school history. 7-3 uh, and three was the best. Right now, we're, we still got one to go. We have to see what happens. But it's exciting for the kids. Uh, we've talked about it, and we've embraced it. Um, but we know we have a, a tall task ahead of us with uh, Jefferson this week, plus with the Bean Rival Week as well. Coach, you mentioned it, Jefferson, big rivalry. Uh, always uh, an interesting game, no matter what the records are, but both teams this year having a good season. So just what's the what's the atmosphere like around your team, surrounding this matchup, and the community as well? Uh, we're focused in as a team. Uh, we, we know what we have to do. Uh, Jefferson's ex extremely explosive on offense. Uh, they're real tough on defense. Uh, we, we need to be locked in and focused and ready to go on Friday. Community-wise, kids are all good. We have Spirit Week this week, so everybody's dressing up every different day, and there's a different theme. So there's a lot of excitement around the building. What are kind of some more specific things that stand out to you about Jefferson this year? Uh, their offense is good. Uh, Tony Allen can can get you anywhere out there when he's lined up a wide receiver. Tayshawn Roper is one heck of a uh, running back. Uh, Herrick is great at quarterback, and their offensive line is 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 big, and they can put their hands on you and your body on you. Defensively, they look like they a Jefferson football team. They don't like giving up the big play. They will bring pressure. What do you think will be some of the uh, keys for your team this week? Uh, we just got to give what they take us. Uh, we want to establish a run game. Uh, if we can establish a run game, we, we can go from there. Defensively, we need to take away any big plays because they get big plays in chunks. You miss one tackle, and they can take it to the house at any time. All right, Coach, anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. No, nope, we're good. All right, fun question. We're changing it up this week and letting you ask us a fun question. <laughs> uh how many cups of coffee do you guys drink in the morning? Oh, go ahead. I don't drink coffee, actually. So. Same, yeah. Uh, <laughs> both of us are not coffee drinkers. Stick to water in the morning. Are you guys morning. tea drinkers? Nope. I stick to if water. If I'm sick, I'll drink some tea. But I got you. Yeah. So you don't do the energy drink either. You guys are just full of energy all the time. I guess so. Maybe we need some coffee. I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I put a uh, flavor packet in my water that has some caffeine, so that gets me in the morning, but not like a Red Bull or any type of energy drink like that. That's it. So. Well, that's good to learn about you guys. There you go. Thank you for the question, Coach, and best of luck against Jefferson. Appreciate it. Thank you. Head Coach Terry.